what's up everybody well this is a hood installation in a damn transportation bus <coughs> here's, <coughs> here's the hood and here's where it's gonna go I'm cutting out this whole roof and actually the back of the hood will insert up into the air that I'll make a curb for the top of the bus to give this a little bit more headroom for the hood. It's still gonna be short, but to put it in here like this, the damn bottom of the hood, you'd have to sit on a chair to cook the food. So I'm gonna insert this hood as deep into this and then build an outside curve to, to refix the roof and mount that fan. This is stage one, cut out the ugly. This is the hood. So what I did is I made some little 14 gauge clips and broke them over and hemmed them just enough to go on there. Pre-drilled some holes. Everywhere you see these rivets up here, that's a pretty heavy duty uh, support beam going across the top of the trailer. And when I make the big curb that will emulate the top of the truck to cover this giant hole up, because part of this hood is going to be sticking through the uh, hole. So I'm gonna cover it with a curb and break a channel on it to help. This didn't really sag any, but I'm gonna break a channel onto the curb to re-stiffen the roof this whole six foot. These slip underneath here, just like this. And then I'll put a couple long, long rivets through there. These real long four eights through here, which are just really gonna hold it because once I screw this to the roof and then through bolts it to the roof it ain't going nowhere of course the duct gets welded in and so on and so forth so this is the next step to the food truck well here's the hood sticking out of the top of the van thus the radius roof line on it i made this this collar real quick and tacked it in and down both sides and on the inside of front and back and over here and I just put this on here for a stiffener but there's a hood and now I'm gonna set the piece I made to start building the curb with radius ends to mount the curb on top uh, a little bit more complicated I wanted to make a radius hood custom hood for the guy but you know he didn't want to spend the money so therefore I gotta go reverse well, there's the piece installed this is the this is the curb that came with this hood and that would get installed right there and there's the hole that I cut in my piece to expose the duck collar that I installed then this will go over this like so like that and then I'll build a piece of duck that'll come up and you know the venturi of the fan is round so i'm gonna kick it it'll be flat on the back here up to this flange right here and then on this back side i'll kick it out a little bit to make sure it gets good suction uh from, from the inside i could bring it straight up but the the venturi's round and it just i don't know just doesn't i don't like doing that but there's the other end and i just got to make patterns to make ends for here and roll a radius and weld it cut the radius on the flat and then weld a radius flange on it so i can seal it all up and screw it to his existing roof and then i'm out the fan all right now the next stage is i didn't make it too complicated on myself i made a light gauge pattern of the radius of the roof up there so i can make a piece just like this out of 16 gauge that I can then take a piece of flat and roll it and weld it to this so I have a flange to attach it to the roof. And I didn't make it complicated. Here's the, here's the 16 gauge that I'm gonna make. 
the two end caps out of. And all I did is I took the, one of the frames that I cut out of the bus and it was about, you know, like so. And I just measured from here and I just used this basic radius to make my pattern. When I made the pattern, I climbed up on the ladder and set it on the bus and it's real close. So it wasn't real over complicated to make it. So I'm gonna plazard these pieces out, grind them and make them work. After you get done fitting that, you welding it. Yep. This gets this gets welded to that. This gets attached to the radius, uh, caulked, and attached to the radius. And then I'll weld this to the side of that curve up there, up on up on the job. So stick it's not welding. Real scientific, but it'll work. So to adjust this, you got a, a pinch roller in the front that you can adjust the pinch roller up and down to grab whatever thickness. And you got rollers in the back that you can adjust how much radius you put in it. This one's a little gentler. It's all about the same. Hmm. If I had to make a hundred of them, I'd be a little more, I'd be a little more um, exact on it. So like that one there is going to fit much better, but it's all the same. Oh, wow. Well. well, there they are. Pattern, welded. So that's a hundred percent. There won't be no, you know, I, you know, there just won't be no leaks. This goes on the roof just like that. One side's finished, guys. A hundred percent, and he's over there working on the other one. Climb up the ladder. Give y'all guys a little top view. Yeah, this is who. Got it screwed so far. She's coming along. Look at my hundred pound lighter fellow. Standing on the ladder for a little while actually, and he hasn't complained. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright guys, this is the duct work. 
uh, now the curbs in and everything's cut out this is the duct work I measured his duct collar on a drawing like this when you measure this this 7 and 5 8 this first number is all yours always the working edge that you see by 16 and 3 quarters is actually the other way so instead of just coming straight up and killing it off I'm blowing it out this way to give the venturi so when your smoke laden vapors go up it, it's got more room instead of choking the duct down it's just the right way to do it and this is the flat 19 and 3 quarters by 19 and 3 quarters is the top of the curb once I build this in 3d basically you lay this out and you cut this and this will give you your stretch out for this piece and this piece obviously is flat weld it all together set it down in the duct collar of the fan and then measure the curb is 20 by 20 and then measure over to all four sides transfer those dimensions and then plazark or grind this out slip it down over this and then weld it right in place screw this down to the curb and it's down the road all right guys so there's your picture that you make you're just making you're basically making what you draw to make it work this goes into the hood collar four inches and I just duplicated this to put it on here and then your only real dimension because it's just a flat on back single offset you know it's not even really an offset you're just blowing out the top so you just measure this, get a stretch out, and you play connect the dot. So there's that piece, it gets welded to there, and obviously this goes on here, like so. What? That gets all welded together. Like that, you make sure it's pretty square. This slips right into the hood, and this is your upper end of the duct. This gives this gives the customer better airflow for the venturi on the fan. And I cut a top plate, and once this is inserted, I just measure the offset to where it goes on the fat plate, and I weld it together. It's over with. Simple. It's not rocket science. Now, if it was a double offset going two different ways transitioning then you got to do a little bit of math but most of this shit's pretty easy make it easy on yourself Typically, there's a four inch collar in that hood, so I typically grind my welds uh, smooth where it's going to slip in so you don't have to fight it because that's pretty jagged right there. And uh, why fight it? Now, I, I typically have an issue with making stuff a little bit tight. <laughs> well, there's a piece of duck down in the duck collar right there. Then I just take a flat piece and measure this hole, cut it out, and bring the welder up here and fit it and grind any excess off, and then mount the fan. square to the curb and to the hood that's why you take these last measurements and this is the piece of 16 gauge that will slip over the duct sticking through and this is the outside of the curb and I'll tack it grind off any excess and weld it hundred percent put some screws in it mount the fan and that part of it's over well there it is flanged off 
and welded. The next thing is mount the fan. some grease look at that Ta -da! thanks guys